Smiler at Alton Towers is a record-breaking ride. Here's 10 things about the ride you may not know. Smiler as we know it may have been very different based on the concept art released before the ride was manufactured. Initial renders for the ride showed a station building more resembling an abandoned mental hospital rather than the clean sterile station that we ended up with and know and love today. Alton Towers is not allowed to build above the tree line. To get around this, the ride's manufacturer Gerstlauer put two lift hills in. The first one, a standard lift hill. The second one, a vertical lift hill to ensure the ride could make it through its entire course. As is common these days with Alton Towers, the marketing team really hyped up the ride prior to its initial launch. And to do so, they launched a four part mini series named Smile Always, featuring Dr. Keller treating a patient. Don't look down, Miles. Don't look down. Let go of the pain. Focus on the joy. Your mind, mind your, your body, body is sliding, sliding into, into submission. submission. There is, there no, is no fight, fight left, in, left you. in you. When construction was complete, the marketing team replicated the world famous New York photo showing all the construction workers on the steel frame by placing the construction workers on the track off the Smiler. For years, Alton Towers has used Secret Weapon as the codename for its major projects. The Smiler was Secret Weapon 7. Following on from Nemesis, Secret Weapon 3, Oblivion, Secret Weapon 4, here, Secret Weapon 5, and 13, Secret Weapon 6. Secret Weapons 1 and 2, they were never built. At the centre of the ride is a large metal structure that looks like a mechanical spider known as the Marmalizer, and it features five elements. The inoculator, the tickler, the flasher, the giggler, and the hypnotizer. The Smiler can operate up to four trains at a time, each with 16 riders, for a theoretical throughput of 1,200 riders per hour. The short trains combined with the impressive layout leads to some visually stunning interactions between the trains. The entrance sign to the Smiler is a bit Big Brother-like. It has 14 security cameras around the sign symbolising each of the inversions. 14. Despite having 14 inversions, if you actually count them from the outside, you'll only find 13 because the first inversion is inside the station and is designed to catch riders unaware. The ride features one heartline roll, three corkscrews, two dive loops, one reverse sidewinder, one sidewinder, one sea serpent, one cobra roll, and one double corkscrew. Impressive number of inversions in such a compact space. Last but not least, despite being 10 years old, the Smiler still holds the world record for the most inversions. The closest, opening three years ago in 2020, is a ride in China known as the 11th Coaster because it has 11 inversions. Will we ever see this beat? What's your thoughts on the Smiler? How many of these facts did you know? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. I've been Chris, you've been watching Coaster Dad, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.